Hi, viewers. Welcome back. This is the third video on condition formatting, highlighting the whole things. So, if you're in the previous video, you have seen if I make this into, I think it will become white. And if I make this into yes, and if I make this into no, how the things change. So, please refer to my previous two videos. So, this video, I'm going to show you how to work using the formulas and or and and so first let's remove this go to condition formatting and clear all the things from this entire sheet now i want to see that i have something called glossy so whenever i remove the word glossy it gets white and if i add it can be in any area if you can see it's in the middle or if i want to in the beginning also you can see just put glossy so the whole things get highlighted. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So the, the formula for this is this number search. So let's make this one as and no. So control C, control V. So now the formula for this is like. I, uh, first, let me tell you this. If you want, I can make the formula directly with the new rule. But the problem is that if I want to make a formula, if I want to type something, and if I couldn't go this, and if I do something, so it doesn't really help me out. So there's going to be no formula, nothing, and this is just not helping me out. So the only thing we remove is. So first, to always type to the, type the formula here and copy and paste. So it can be is equal to is number. And inside that, you have to put search S E I R C T S C H. And you have to find the text. So the text I'm going to find is going to be glossy. So I'm going to put double quotes G L O S S Y. Close the parentheses. And within text, so I put a comma and within text means within this area. And I'm going to put F123. So if I don't put this dollar sign, you can see what is going to happen. And I'm going to and I'm going to see if, if you want, I can just make it just for trying this. I just put DP and I just close the parenthesis. It is game false so when I come down. So it is having loss of the showing to so the first area always select the first one. Be careful, just select this first area. Before that, just try to select this control shift down okay arrow and control shift uh, left arrow and down arrow. And from here go to condition formatting. New rule. And so you have selected the formula first. So I'm going to select this control C. I'm going to copy this. So select this. And uh, select down arrow. Go to conditional formatting. New rule. And here, here there's a formula. Now I have not put a dollar sign. Let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to do OK. So, sorry, before we're doing OK, manage rule, just select the format. And I'm going to fill this into green color and say OK. So, you can see just the starting point has been selected. So, because of that error, so go back again, manage rules, double click, and you have to put a four down, one, two, three. And do OK. So you can see whatever the glossy has been selected. Now, if you want to see the tell that I want to have either glossy or cons, so you can see cons, cons have not been selected. So if you want to see either glossy or cons to be selected, what you have to do is you have to put an OR formula. So this is going to be an OR formula. So I'm going to show you very important tips over here. So always put a dollar sign 
in this and always select the full area without this the formula will go wrong so i'm going to put an or formula in the same here same way or open the parenthesis so the logical is given us this i'm going to put a comma here so this is going to be a logical to be the logical to is again is number is number open the parenthesis s e r h Again, open the parenthesis. Find text. So here, I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to put F4. And oh, sorry, search text should be fonts. I will put fonts comma within text here, and I'm going to put F4, one, two, three. And I'm going to close the parenthesis. The first one I didn't put a dollar sign, so always put a dollar sign here and hit. So you can see that either it should be glossy or fonts. So before that time it was it was a uh, it was a font. Now it is becoming two. So you can see that now simultaneously has changed either for Fonts or glossy or both can be. Then it will highlight the area. So go and copy this formula. Control C. Go to condition of formatting. Manage rules. Click on this. Remove this formula. Better to control A and remove first, and then paste this here. And check the dollar sign is here and the dollar sign is here. I will tell you that if in case if you miss to put the parenthesis, you need to in the format and just to okay. So if you have no, what is going to happen? So you can see the formula is missing. So always try to paste the formula and do okay. Now you can see it has to be either glossy and fonts. Now the same thing I am going to do in and. So it should be like it should be both cons and glossy. It will be highlighted. So this will not be highlighted because this is two right now. If I put and this will not only with both cons and glossy. So cons and glossy. This will be this will be highlighted. So I'm going to change this into an and a and d. And when I double come down, I can see it's visible. False. So copy this formula. You get double quotes. I see the dollar sign is there. Copy. Escape condition of writing. Manage room. And then edit this. So instead of or you can change that automatically. You can change it manually. But it's always better to copy and paste here. Remove this first, then paste it. And now we we'll change this color again. You can see the colors are keep on changing here. You can make out from here. Okay, the problem is we didn't select the area. So go to condition formatting manager rules. Or oh, the and remove this. Okay. The double quotes are here. Okay, just please cancel this. And copy this again. Control C. Go to condition for any manage rules. Delete this new rule. Get to the new rule. Format. Okay, okay, the area has to be selected. Okay, I'm going to select this manually with this. And done. Now you can see only the things which have glossy and font is selected. Now, if you have a glossy written here, glossy, and there is no font, but if I make this into font. And 